Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have a Patreon request, Sailor Moon from Mohammed on Patreon. If you have a request you really, really, really want me to do, you can go onto Patreon and sign up. And you can message me, you can even send me the image you want me to draw. Real handy to have Patreon there. So, Sailor Moon, let's go. So center point of my page is about here. Say that's where her nose is going to end up being. Then you come up and over to the right hand side a little bit. So we we'll start with the right eyelid. So we'll go up. Straight across like so and kind of curve it down then around the back. Down this side carving real big right and they're not like overly thick anime eye lines like you know some some anime eyes will have real big thick eyelids but this is just seems to be like a single sort of line like that and then she will have some eyelash lines sticking up sticking off here right so that's like, that's basically her eye. There's like a little line down here, but her iris is massive. So like most of her eye is just like this big oval sort of line here. And the crazy big touches the top eyelid there. And then there's these white shines inside. So circle inside like there. And then another one on this side. And like some line ones kind of here. Like that, right? And then her pupil, what we can see of it is just like a dark shadow underneath this white shine or highlight here. So it's like just a shadow underneath there okay so then in the way of an eyebrow so we've got like yeah it kind of just curves this way goes across like that real thin again and then an eyelid line kind of coming down here okay And just at the bottom of her eye, we have like uh, just a line, a straight line, just coming across here, and it's got some like eyelash lines, I think, just at the bottom, here like that. So we do that pretty much then over the other side. So we bring it up, across and down. that again and we're about eye width across right so the width of our eye here will fit in between her two eyes so that's the distance you're kind of going across eye width in here okay and then eyelashes sticking up here and then again a massive oval sort of eye really exaggerated out of proportion eyes and eyelashes kind of on the bottom here and then we add those big highlights white ones first and then another one here and like stripes or something just around the side and then again we got like a shadow half moon sort of shape underneath this highlight covered in dark that's the kind of style eyes we're going for and then her other eyebrow will come across this way like so and then an eyelid line just there like so. 
right so her nose is like right in between the middle of her uh, eyes here like it's, it's just it doesn't you don't go down like here like normal it's because her eyes are so big they're up here so you do like a line coming down like so and then we curve it that way and then up to there into here okay and then her mouth is represented by just two like lines like this they're not like touching they just like, like that kind of thing so her face so uh, round sort of face right so her chin just here right and like in the way of proportion you know it's hard because her eyes are so big but I would say like her top eyelids to her nose is about the same as her nose to her chin right so here to here is about the same as here to here so the the nose part here the pointy part of her nose or like even along the bottom of her eye there, those bottom eyelid lines is halfway between the top eyelid and the chin. So here to here is about the same as here to here. Okay, approximately, but it's difficult with a character with such big eyes to try and get some proportion. Just basically every, everything down here is like really close together. And then up at the side just talk about the edge of her eye and we go this way as well and stop about the edge of her eye the corner just below it see and we're like in line with her mouth see that and that's where you want to start changing direction going up for the side of her head which kind of curves out here curves out kind of like a wine glass sort of shape and she she's got like these cheek marks here and then her ears come around here like so another one like so and they do the ears sort of the easy way just like a letter J That and she's got like earrings, half moon shaped earrings. Just there on her ear. Like so. And so then hair. So her hair starts like right in the middle of her head, just like here, right? And we've got like this love heart sort of situation going on with the first few like this right like that just in the middle okay and then these fringe parts come down across her eyes so like so and we keep going This one touches her ear, like that. So three of them on each side. So, and then she's got like this jewel or tiara or something in the middle of her head. So it's like a V goes up this way and then the other side of it's in here. Just there and then that way. Like 
so. And then there's a jewel on the inside, like so. And then the rest of her hair. So it kind of comes out from behind her ear, spiking up this way, curving around, like so. Something similar on the other side. We can't we can't see all of it because of a finger, but we'll I'll kind of just make it up. I don't recommend making it up, but so and then it goes up to her head. So there's her finger, and then it like comes out here. Sticks out there, around into there. Kind of similar on both sides, and then we go up around, kind of this way towards the top of her head, and it kind of in the middle here, kind of parts and goes around the other way. then like so and then there's some lines in the center for her hairlines and giant things on top of her head just here and circle inside as well two of them some texture lines wrapping around these sorts of circular things I think it's the way her hair is tied up Similar stuff like that. Um, right, so arms are crisscrossed across her body, right? So she's one hand here and one down here. So I guess we'll just get this arm first, right? So shoulder comes out here. And then this is wraps around her shoulder, comes down across her chest. This has a V like situation underneath her chin, just in there, okay? And then we have her collarbones just there, and I think she's got like another necklace or something just in under here. So then her, her arm, her elbow comes down to like right underneath her chin, and then it goes up. To her hand up here she's got like white gloves and stuff so i guess like right underneath her chin we've got like this elbow pad right right down here so it's about the width of her face down again that's where it starts see so from like eyes to her chin down again that's where her elbow is the crook of her elbow just if you're wondering about how distance of things this is the same as this and then so her arm goes up from there the other side of it real thin sort of arms goes down like so and then we've got shoulder pad or something here So then her forearm comes up this way, so like so, and that. 
So her, her, her whole hand is probably like the whole nearly size of her face, right? So like from the wrist to the finger, it's about the same size as her, her whole face, right? So her wrist like starts here and her finger, where does it go up to? Like in line up here somewhere. In line with like this, so like, like her fingers up there. So like from the wrist to the top of her finger, it's like nearly the same size as it's probably the same size as her whole face, right? So that's how big you want to go with the hand. So it comes up this way, comes out for curves out this way towards her knuckle, and then it curves back in, right? So hands are a bit tricky, so take your time, especially ones in weird poses. I know, Mohammed, you told me you wanted to practice <laughs> your hands, so here you go. Now, any lines for hair that we shouldn't see, I'll erase them. So this finger comes down then again. Like so. So one finger here, and then the the other side, right? So she's wearing these white gloves. So we got like a bump and then the side of the hand comes up like so and in, right? So she's doing this like bull horn, sort of two fingers, right? So here, this becomes the little finger. So this goes up to there, relatively straight for a finger. And then we go up like so and then back down. there and then those two knuckles in the middle so out to here down out to here up down and there And then her shoulder on the other side here, so it kind of bumps out like so. And then, that's her arm going down this way. And then we can see a blue collar inside there. And then a medallion or something like a necklace or something here and it's got like a gemstone inside another edge line and like details and stuff in, in here but not, nothing major and like a red top of a red dress going across like so and like a full line something in there um, I'll just erase that hairline Okay, so her other hand, so it comes down. This is like her elbow. She's got like another red thing down here. If you had more room, you could just bring to two bumpy sort of elbows down here. But I couldn't fit all of that in. Um, so the rest of her hand, so it like comes out here, goes up, okay, curves up this way. And then we've got a knuckle coming down like that. So this is like just a long line that finishes with a finger. Right, so it just curves like that. So a couple of like bumps here, okay, for knuckles. Two knuckles, one, two. And then the tip of her finger just here. And this kind of comes back this way. Down to there. Okay. And then her finger knuckles stick out like so. Down to there, in, there, like that. Um, that's one, and then two, there. And 
little finger sticks off, goes real long, down off my page. Just goes off. It's a bit longer than I had room for, but I think that if you could bring that to a point, kind of if you've room in the bottom of your page, you could just point it down there. And then her hand goes around like so. Down to here. Like her wrist. Like so, and side of her red dress here. And I'll just erase, I don't like this line here in her hand, I'll just get rid of that. Then we can see a little bit of her thumb back here. Going down like so. Okay, so then just those long strands of hair. Like so, and I think we can see just a little bit more of her dress, just back here. But I think that's the last of it. Yeah. How to draw Sailor Moon from Sailor Moon. Hope it was helpful, Mohammed. Hope the hands weren't too tough. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Like, subscribe, check out Patreon if you want, of course. See you in the next one. Bye.